Okay, let's look at the turn order. Uh, one one thing, since since Laura Roslin is the first player, and she was a Cylon sympathizer, uh, it has some special rules that I didn't really want to go into. So um, I just swapped her out with a, an actual Cylon card. So she's a Cylon. Uh, so we're just gonna go. I'm just gonna walk through her turn. Um, the first step in the turn is to draw your skill cards. You can see that uh, Laura Roslin has uh, three politics cards and two leadership cards. Um, so she's going to go over here, draw three politics cards, two, three, and two leadership cards, and then that's her starting uh, hand of skill cards. You can see some of these skill cards, they have an action where you can, um, you can use those as your action, but we'll go over that in a minute. Okay, the next step is the movement step. Now, if you are if you are anywhere on Galactica, you can move to any other place on Galactica. Um, if you want to go to another ship, which uh, in the base game the only other ship is Colonial One, which I, I found the name, Colonial One, you have to actually discard a skill card uh, to move between ships. So let's see. So Laura Roslin is currently in the president's office, which lets her draw a quorum card. Um, let's say she wanted to go to the press room. She can just move to the press room. Now, like I said, if she wanted to go to Galactica, she could discard a skill card and then go anywhere on Galactica. Um, so now her um, now she so that was the movement step. The next step is the action step. All right, during the action step, each the player gets one action, um, and those actions can come from uh, a variety of places. They can come from your skill cards. Um, anything is marked. It's I don't know if you can see that. Might be too blurry. It's marked as an action. So this one would let her consolidate power by drawing two skill cards of any type. Um, this one would let her. Um, Actually, that's the only skill card she has that has an action. Actions could also come from your location. So in this case, uh, she can use her action to draw two politics skill cards. Um, actions can come from your character sheet. She's a skilled politician, so once per game, she can draw four quorum cards. They can come from your title card. This says draw a quorum card into your hand. and. Um, so that's basically you get one action. So she's actually going to use her um, her president card to draw a quorum card. So she's going to draw a quorum card. Says arrest order. Um, you can use a use an action to choose a character and send them to the brig. And then discard this card. That's going to come in handy considering she's a Cylon. So after the action step, the next step is the crisis step. So during that step, you Turn over the crisis card and see what happens. This one says, uh-oh, Cylon screenings. The current player chooses either to pass, which means no effect, or, oh, the current, chooser, current player chooses either to, to do the skill challenge, which means if they pass it, there's going to be no effect. If they fail it, they're going to lose one morale, and the current player looks at one random loyalty card belonging to the president or admiral. Or the current player could choose that each player discards two skill check, two skill cards. So that's an interesting dilemma because she's a Cylon, so she probably wants them to fail, and also she would get to look at a loyalty card for the Admiral. So she would get to find out if Odama, if Adama is actually on her side or not. So she'd really probably want to do that skill check, but I don't really want to go over the rules for the skill check right now, so she's going to choose to um, each player discards two skill cards. So, so she's going to discard two skill cards. Just make a discard back here. You know, as a Cylon, this might be not be a bad thing to do either, because it's you know definitely hurting everybody's skills. But you don't want to look too suspicious. Okay, so that was the crisis step. The next step 
is to activate the ships. You can see this crisis card has a Cylon Raider sign down there, which means we're going to move the Cylon Raiders right here. Okay, to our, so our crisis card told us that the Cylon Raiders were going to move. And when that happens, each Raider is going to take one action. And there's kind of a script in the rule book that tells you what that action is. Um, the first thing that it tries to do is attack any viper that's in its space. Well, there aren't any, spa any vipers in this space. The next thing it would do is attack any civilian ships in the space. There are no civilian ships in this space. And so the next thing it does is move towards the nearest civilian ship. Okay. Well, there are civilian ships on the board, so that's what we're going to do. But if there weren't any civilian ships, the last thing is to attack Galactica itself. Uh, which would in, involve rolling a dice and seeing if it could uh, do damage to the Galactica. But since there are civilian ships, we're going to count and see uh, what the closest way, closest civilian ship is. So this is one, two, three this way, one, two, three this way. Well, they're equal distance. Well, that means that they're going to go clockwise. So basically, each of these raiders is going to move clockwise trying to get these civilian ships. So the last phase, that's the activate um, Cylon phase. The last phase is prepare jump and that if this crisis card had a little jump icon which, uh, let me see if I can find one for you. Ah, oh, this one does. Like that, we would move this one more space, move that one more space towards the jump. So that's the turn order. Then you basically pass this to the next player and they do the same thing. It's a pretty simple turn order, um, but still, you only get one action, but there's plenty of decisions on, on how to use that one action. So, uh, the last thing I'd like to go over are some of the special things like skill checks and combat.